Because I already know I'm about to be successful in my life, man. I already know, man, I'm not listening to this. And you got to speak. Because those words is trying to get access to your attention. And if you don't speak and you keep pondering and thinking and sitting and bathing, you and the words making love to, with each other. Y'all making love. And y'all doing this and doing that, making love. And then what happens is those words will end up trumping your whole being and now you're ready to explode because you never address it in the first grade. What you got to do in the moment you start feeling it? Preach my spirit. What are you saying? Things is what? Contrary. You you stupid. If somebody calls you stupid, what are you saying to yourself? I'm not stupid. You're not stupid because I'm not, I'm not dog. You got to say it with Pat. You can't say I'm not stupid. <laughs> you fat. What are you saying to yourself? <laughs> like, just be like, okay. That's, that's the problem. Son, listen, I'm hearing, man, what's wrong with you? Always eating, you fat? What's going on? All due respect, I can't listen to that right now. Yeah. 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 So he was, so he was, so, so he was about to go to a mental, a mental situation. What? Yeah, he just, he just don't and that, you. And my spirit, that's why it's important mm. to pay attention to your spirit. My spirit was drawn to him. Mm -hmm. That's why I was, I wanted to go around the room and my spirit came up. What's going on, y'all? Text Podcast Summit to 33777. And that's right. And be at Midtown Tech Hive, 6 p.m., April 18th. See you there. See y'all there. What's going on, y'all? Welcome to the Pull Up Experience. We have another great edition for you guys. Episode 194, guys. Roll to 200 episodes. But we had the pleasure of having our man, Mr. Mike Mattis, with us today. And we've got a good one for y'all. I know it's going to be good. You know what I'm saying? We got Miss Brittany with us hey, y today. Y'all already know who I am. So, <laughs> so let's, let's get into it. We got my man Steve That's behind right. there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Doing his thing. But uh, it's, it's an honor to have you on, my friend. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You. You're doing great things in the community, man. Mm -hmm. So like we like to ask everybody, where did it all begin, man? Where, what what hood are you claiming? <laughs> Jesus. Man. There we go. There we go. There we go. That, that's that's the best hood. That's the best hood. You know? No, I just, but I just had a passion. You know, it just it's one of those things that um, you don't know what you know until you hear. Yeah. What you know. Yeah. Um, if that makes sense, like it's like you do you're in motion doing your thing. People say, man, you're really good in that. Mm. And you just like, wow, well, I am. Right. And then you start paying attention to that one gift that our God already had mm -hmm. inside of you, man. Mm. So um, this is one of the things like that, man. You know, um, crazy story, crazy background. Mm. And, um, yeah, it just came natural. You okay. Know, got discovered like that. So let's start from the beginning. So growing up, were you that kid that could talk your way out of, out, of, out of anything, you know what I'm saying? Or you just, you, you, you just had this leadership ability, like, you know what I'm saying, to gather people around, you know what I'm saying? Um, I think, I, I think you know, I think as time went on and time progressed in my life, I think that was being built off my confidence within. Mm. What happened? Okay. Uh, uh, we've got well, to yeah, we got some more. Okay, y'all. We need to get before we start. Yeah, my bad. So I hit this thing when you dropping bombs, <laughs> oh. and now let the viewer know, like, oh, I need to be paying attention. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. No, nah, you get it. My bad. bad. My bad, Mike. My I'm bad. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so you, if you're on drink champs, Noriega hit hit by that. Hey, you got that big old horn going. I ain't want to do it. I like this. This is a better <laughs> thing. Something similar. No, no, no. But, uh, but confidence, man, it just it, it caused me to um, 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 feel confident within myself, man. It mm. just created a, a, a sense of attract attractiveness mm -hmm. yeah. I have, mm -hmm. man. That's this is what it is. Confidence is attractive, mm. yeah, okay. and it pulls people in. You know, it creates a sense, sense of rhythm. It creates a sense of trust. Mm -hmm. You can be like, man, the sky green. Oh, it is. If you say it with enough enough passion wow. and strength. You know what? You don't see that right in the corner. Wow. You know what? I think I do see that thing right in the corner. You lying and everything. <laughs> but you said it was so much, much confidence. passion yeah. and focus. And, no, listen, I promise you. Look, you gotta, yeah. No, seriously. Yeah. And with a straight face and intuitiveness. And, and, uh, and I'm talking about, man, that kind of stuff mean a lot. Mm. Okay. Um, and all that played a, you know, played a part, man. So I'm just grateful, man. I'm grateful. So let me ask you this. So that's a good question because, like, when you say... 
Well, you said the person who wasn't, who's not born with, you know what I'm saying, that bravado, mm-hmm. that confidence. Right. Like, yeah, that's something that can be taught, yeah. or something you, you know, got to have. Growing up, I, I got bullied growing up, man. Mm. You know, I got bullied for several, several years. And, um, you know, I remember getting my lunch money took from me, man. And um, lack of, you know, um, not, they, they, the, I feel like the, the, uh, the bullies felt that I didn't know, really know who I was, not didn't know where I was going. Wow. Mm. Lack of love within. My mm. mom and my dad um, raised me or spoke love to me uh, to the best and to the level of where they are. Wow. Mm. And um, I understood that. You know, I understood that. But um, at the end of the day, it is what it is. You know, I felt the way I felt. You can't knock how you feel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, so at the end of the, so, so then, so fast forward, I think that um, as you were saying, um, how can I speak to that person? You gotta realize that everything has seasons, mm-hmm. and you also you also gotta realize that um, no one can speak um, into you like you can speak into yourself. Ooh, yeah. mm-hmm. um, but you gotta identify your wins within. Mm. I'm talking about small stuff. You turn you. I know mom may be getting on you or whatever, whoever, maybe husband, whoever who's in your circle. They may be challenging you and get on you about certain things or whatever it can be but as little as you turning a small left to a big f mike how you do that well you got 20 percent on this report well, on this report card but you got 40 percent over here it's still an f but i need you to celebrate that to create momentum with the, and, and if you that's create good. no momentum mm-hmm. that's good for um, example you did you you uh, king you you married your, your, your wife may have not celebrated you and you felt some kind of way, but you know deep down inside, you trying within, but it's hard to see the return because she don't see it. Um, wow. and, 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 that, and that's okay. So you keep trying and keep trying and keep trying within yourself. The more you develop love within yourself, then the love will start bleeding over the cup mm. and then you can give. Yeah. That makes sense? Yeah. Oh, wow. So, um, man, if you're struggling, man, listen, I'm talking about, I, 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 I'm in a place where I get, you get a lot, you're going you're gonna to get left and right hand punches to you. Mm. Mm. That's real. <laughs> Good and bad. Oh, yeah. you're supposed to be this. Oh, you, oh I love the way you're doing huh? it. All that. Yeah. But you got to get to a place, man, listen, man, it's me and purpose against the world. Okay? Ooh. Talk to yourself. That's just real talk. That's, <laughs> that's, 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 right talk. that's just real. <laughs> And your purpose may consist of is hitting behind your mistakes. Wow. <laughs> like Jonah and the whale. Come on, Bible people, mm-hmm. man. Jonah and the whale. <laughs> Jonah made a mistake, went the wrong way, made a mistake. Um. Waves came on the boat. Everybody panicking on the boat. Mm-hmm. Oh, my homeboy Jonah got kicked off the boat into a whale, mm-hmm. which is now in the Bible, Jonah and the whale. Right, right. The whale never <laughs> even had a place if Jonah didn't make no mistake. Oh, okay. <laughs> Come on, man. I didn't go to church today, but now, you know right, what I'm right, saying? Right. Jonah, huh? jo- the whale wouldn't even be there if Jonah didn't yeah. make no mistake. Right. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Now, because of that, what caused Jonah make... Now Jonah ended up changing his mind because he was in the belly of the whale, in, 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 in inside that whale, thinking and pondering and developing. And now when he got out that whale, he's like, man, you know what? I'm going to do the right thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Same thing with me. Eight years in prison. All kind of stuff. So everybody have those things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And watch this. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I keep making the same mistake. Hey, you know, it's okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You won't get muscles overnight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's true. They want you to get muscles immediately. Well, my, how many times you? How many times I got to keep making mistakes? Well, how many times God going to keep forgiving you? Mm. All the time. Mm. That's just, you get, that's just, I get it. That's good. Yeah. You know, so. Okay. Uh, yeah. No, 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 listen, listen, you. Yeah, I, look like, at things, <laughs> I look at things totally different, yeah. man. You know, and I ain't going to lie. I'm not saying you got to keep making the same mistake, but at the same extent, man, I don't, if I'm, if, if that's a struggle for me, um, I isolate my, I, I, the, 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 the very thing I isolate um, myself with is love, mm. love within myself. I isolate my love within myself. Mm-hmm. I'm just, I'm not trying to say this goes wrong. I'm mm-hmm. just telling you what I do personally. Okay. No, absolutely. So when I get in a place where I know this whole mentor, Mike, uh, you're doing stuff for the youth. I love it. I love mm-hmm. it all over the world. I'm talking about people 
all over the world, not knowing that I got still got challenges, I got still got my mind tripping sometimes. Mm-hmm. Um, I graduated a lot. My mind, I'm very in a peaceful place. I'd say about 90, yeah. 95 percent of the place, I'm always at peace. Mm-hmm. I'm watching what I do, watching what I say, but still, still, you know, I'm still human. Mm-hmm. You know, still got my man. I'm still a man. Yeah. Still got desires and stuff like that, but um, at the end of the day, man, I'm I'm say about 95 percent of the time, I'm at a peaceful place. Okay. Mm. I'm just my 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 must my um, like I said before, my peace is right next to my mistakes. Like That's if I make good. mistakes, I'm like, okay, God, where your mercy at? Then I got peace. Mm. And I just real, that's what's real. I'm just letting you know how my life goes. No, and that's good. And, and I yeah. think uh, most people, that's that's a place. People want somebody want the car. They want the they want the money. Right. That way, I think peace should be a, a, a thing we should also strive that's for. Right. Yeah. That's right. Because most of us don't even have it. We might have those peace. things that people think that are needed. But I feel like peace is psh, we mm. also strive. Your peace yeah. helps you create your non-negotiables as well. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So okay, Mike. Let me ask you this because I love how you said that you found your purpose. Mm-hmm. How do you feel like a person finds that? Because a lot of people struggle with that. Yeah. They, 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 didn't, they didn't work the entire life doing this thing, but that's not their purpose. How do you um, feel like a person can find you it? You know, it's crazy. I mean, you know, I think um, your purpose is attached to helping someone. Um, so <laughs> so you, have different, you have different subject lines or different things that causes you to have that return of helping mm-hmm. someone. Mm-hmm. Um, I, 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 the thing is, which purpose which place in your purpose should you be advertising? Wow. Hmm, okay. That makes sense. Okay. Wow. So, um, for example, um, this is so good. I don't even know what I'll be saying. I mean, I know what I'll be saying, but this is like. <laughs> 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 I know. That's I mean, how you I know what I'm saying. That's how you know what you do. What I'm saying. <laughs> but what it is, I listen to so many teachings a day. So I, mm-hmm. I, my, I listen to more teachings than the music a day. Wow. Oh. So, therefore, my mind is like, us, I'm always stay tall. Mm. Um, always. If I struggle on something, I'm going to learn it so my struggle won't be so strong. <laughs> I may be a struggle, but it won't be that, as strong. <laughs> that so makes good. sense. <laughs> that's, just, that's just me. <laughs> that's so good. So, so what I learned is that um, hypothetic, we got three gifts. Hypothetic. Hypothetic. Mm. We might have more gifts or whatever. Mm. Gifts Word. Mm. One of my gifts may be art. Another one of my gifts may be singing, and one of my gifts may be sports. Okay? Mm-hmm. Art, singing, and sports. The art does not bring forth a strong return. It probably brings forth like three, four people who love my art. Mm-hmm. My singing may bring forth like 12 people who love my singing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But my sports may bring forth 50 to 60 people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that may be the purpose I need to be entertaining wow. because it brings forth that much return. But... Mm-hmm. When life get, when life gets challenging, when life gets hard, I might need to shift to the gift, that very gift that, which may be art, wow, or music, okay. which helps me, which still is purpose. Mm-hmm. It may not be that my primary purpose to give me the front, give me that money. Yeah, it's still purpose there. It's still purpose okay. there. Okay. So wow. that's why I say that place and purpose. You got to identify what brings forth a return, and does that art help you with your peace? Because mm-hmm. even though that helps you with your peace, don't mean that's a primary place to make your money. Right. Mm-hmm. It just helps you with your peace. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow, wow, wow. Time out, time out, time out, Mike. You're you, yeah. you blowing my mind right now. Because, <laughs> like, too often I think we might mix we might mix the two. Now, you know what? Sometimes it does mix. Mm. Sometimes it does mix. It all plays, it plays, it plays a part. I think oftentimes, and you keep working it. If you keep working and working and working and working it, mm-hmm. it can create a muscle. Mm. But the thing is, you got to be open to see where, where, what brings forth and what helps what? Wow. That makes mm-hmm. sense. I think oftentimes we have a certain structure and say it got to go this way. Mm-hmm. Got, you don't know, but know what's you don't know, but you just be open. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My mind work a little different. That's just what helps me. Yeah. And I stay, I stay. I'm open. I'm open minded. It's like I believe what I believe, but I want to. I'm open to hear what you say because speak. People speak from the level of their understanding. Mm. That might not be my understanding. Right. But only, let me hear your words so I can open my mind to hear your door. Mm-hmm. And that's okay. Mm-hmm. That's good. So let me ask you, so when, yeah. so when did you know you were, you, were, you were in your purpose? When was your aha moment return. like? Return. Yeah, return. When people were saying how it saved their life. And my testimony saved their life. And uh, what I'm saying is saying their life, saving their life. Mm-hmm. And, man, wild people crying to me. 
little girls, little guys coming up to me like, wow, man. And people ask me for my autograph. I'm mm-hmm. like, bruh. <laughs> right. I'm talking about I had this one kid ask, can he sign, can I sign his shirt? Mm. He he do came up to me and said, Can you just sign my shirt? Mm. I was like, Yeah, I'll sign your shirt with a thing in, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but that's like that, you know you're in a role, yeah. man. And mm. then, you know, it just I'm just grateful. I'm just really I am I'm really grateful. I'm really in a good place in my life. Like mm. really mentally. We all got challenges, all got all got I got stuff coming at me, I got stuff I gotta handle even to this guy right now. Mm-hmm. But I'm really in a good place, and that's why it's important to reserve your energy. Mm-hmm. Well, Sometimes yeah. when mm-hmm. you're in your place, when you walk around, you know, reserve your energy. And yeah. know when you, it's time for your energy to speak. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know, that's okay. No, that's good, that's good stuff. So like I said, mm-hmm. in, the, in the days where we live, where we got the, everyone's a guru, right? And everyone's trying to sell you something mm-hmm. about, you know, this is what you need to be doing, this is what you need to be doing. Not to people focus on the purpose part. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They focus on get this money. Get this LLC, Dale, Bale, Bale, or whatnot. But not to want the people who are focused on why is that you do What's your why behind it? Mm-hmm. What are you? Are you working on your purpose? If so, all right, cool. But if not, money is one thing, but money not to sustain you, as we all know that, right? Yeah. That purpose that thing gonna help sustain you in the moments where money not flowing like you want to. Mm-hmm. So let's talk about the early days. Though. Let's talk about when you when you start working on purpose and you decide, all right, I want, I want to get this gift to the world. What do the early days look like? Because you know your purpose, but other people might not see it as fully as you do. What you mean? So, like, when you when you found out my gift is your testimony and telling your testimony to other people, when you first started out or when you first started walking that thing, you knew it, but most people might not have known. Like, do I want to have this man in front of me, uh, uh, in front of these mm. people telling my testimony, tell the testimony? Like, they didn't know it. Like, mm. you knew it. What do they look like or whatnot? And, and then t- tell us about how eventually other people obviously seen it and wanted to hear more about your testimony and all that good stuff. Okay, good, 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 good. Um, so... Um, you know, I, I didn't know, you know, it's crazy. Um, so growing up, I had a stuttering problem. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I had a strong stuttering I still problem. got one. Okay. <laughs> Moses had one too, but he's still in the Bible. Come on now. Uh, his name still qualified. Absolutely. Yeah, and his name's still great. Everybody knows mm-hmm. Moses being Moses. Mm-hmm. Um, so I had a strong stuttering problem. It's crazy that. Your, your challenge does not disqualify you. <laughs> and, so um, right. and oftentimes <laughs> I felt like it did because I allow people to have influence over my attention. Wow. And um, because I did not know who I was. Mm-hmm. Your confidence helps you with struggles. It, does. it, it helps you identify yeah. um you where your power is, your confidence is. Mm-hmm. Damn, I'm just being honest because all the time, we all want to feel like we're we're, we're doing okay. Mm-hmm. We all want to feel get that affirmation, affirmation validation. That's just right. you mm-hmm. look nice. Oh, I like your hair. Oh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. okay, yeah, I got the beard thing going on. Okay, everybody want to be. Come on, who don't? Right. You know, <laughs> yes, people. You know, everybody does to a degree. Um. To answer your question, man, so I, 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 um, I had to get into that I don't care mentality, man, and I had to tap in, I had to tap in to, um, I had to start smoke, focusing on the small wins, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and when I started seeing that this is working for me, yeah, um, that's when it st- I started pushing it. Now, I didn't see the return. Mm-hmm. I didn't re- see a return right off the bat. Yeah. Um, when I say return, I'm talking about Financially, because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, we need money. Correct. Right? Yeah. Right? I didn't need. Correct. I didn't see the money right off the bat, and sometimes your money helps you see that I'm going in the right direction. Yeah. Yeah. Real no, talk. The money or the mm-hmm. audience. Okay, mm-hmm. I'm getting X amount of views. Mm-hmm. This even here, I'm getting X amount of views. Mm-hmm. You keep getting ten views, ten views, ten views, ten views. You're gonna be questioning. Like, eh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Seriously. I, mm-hmm. She's take, she's coming from her, you know, take, being pulled from her family or whatever. And if you've been pulled, you, yeah. you're going to be thinking, where's the investment at? Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. But um, I didn't see that at, at, at all. But I started seeing and kept looking that um, this is what I, I, I have a, a strong desire to do. Mm-hmm. Um, and this is what I want to feed the people. Yeah. And um, like I said before, I kept working, I kept working, and the return 
from the people got stronger and stronger and stronger. And I started adding value to my mind. I started adding wow. value to my mind. Mm -hmm. And then the value from my mind started bleeding over into my words. And that's time, it. I'm, 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 I did that one time. <laughs> That is dope right there. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. I started bleeding through my words and get to a place where sometimes I'm so busy mm -hmm. um, traveling and doing this, I forget to study. Not so much forget to study it, mm -hmm. but I get before that, that audience. I have to get before that audience and get before that, that, that kid. And my, I, I see my points, boom, 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 mm -hmm. and I'm gone. Right, but I just never, I never study because it's mm -hmm. in my soul. Yeah, right, 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 right. The Bible says, be loved, I pray you be in good health and prosper, even as your soul prosper. So mm -hmm. your prosperity is attached to your soul. So mm -hmm. mind with emotion. So it's just, I don't know, man. I look at things, little, my perspective on things, it's a little different, man. Yeah. So um, mm -hmm. I just love what I do, man. No, like, listen. I love what I do. And like, I feel like that you can mm -hmm. tell the difference between someone who just do it, just be doing it, someone right. who generally, you know what I'm saying, doing mm -hmm. it, doing it, because it's inside of them and whatnot. Yeah. You obviously can say you have a passion behind it. This is, this is what you do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah, I'm grateful, man. I'm grateful. No. So, yeah, I specialize in anger management, character development. Mm -hmm. um, I have a um, mentorship program that the tap in. It's, my, it's one of my hoodies. Mm -hmm. um, mentoring with the mentees. Uh, meaning that, you know, the mentor can be a mentor. Mm -hmm. uh, mentor can have mentees. You know? So, mm -hmm. mentoring with the mentees. And, um, we're rolling them and we're in a couple states now. Oh, come on. Now. And um, I'm, I'm getting a couple schools here in Cleveland. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, again, I specialize in anger management, character development, man. We, we um, coping skills, de escalation tactics. And I, I wrote, uh, I wrote a, uh, finished my other book. I forgot to bring it. I finished a book called Rage Unleashed Navigating Youth Anger in Today's World. More mm -hmm. like a scholarly book that unpacks anger. Um, if your kid come home, hypothetic um, or a true story, if your kid come home, and don't want to speak, but come straight to the room. I I let you know statistically, real life story data the reason why that's like that. Yeah. Mm. And um, I unpack that man. So I love what I do. I've been doing this a little over ten years now. I wrote a book also called I'm Not Famous, but I made a Psalm 23 edition. It just talks about how I discovered myself within by me doing eight years in prison and um, the challenges under that. I just walk you through. The whole lifestyle and mm. how I survived that prison, mm. being on a plantation doing eight years on that plantation where we mm. sold our own clothes, raised our own food in Parchman, Mississippi. Look it up. Par that, that, mm. that, that plantation is no joke. Mm. Mm. To this day, Parchman, Mississippi, man, I was there from 2000 to 2009, uh, 2001, uh, yeah, 2000, 2001 to 2009. So, um, yeah, man, so October 27th, I got out in 09. You know, okay. the rest was history. So, okay. And I'm going to say, I've got a lot of pack right there because I want to talk about how, one, how, how, so how did you how did you come to the school and say, hey, I want to speak to the school? Because I know a lot of people who are speakers, mm -hmm. they can't transition into, you know, speaking in front of, you know, going, going inside school because some people can, you know, they can speak in front of a small crowd, speak in front of this, but doing the school, I'm pretty sure it's a whole different criteria mm -hmm. or whatnot. How would you say some, oh, some one one can get into the school speaking for these students? You know, shameless plug. First off, man, listen, you gotta, you gotta, uh, I got a whole system in place. Come on now, you gotta, you gotta buy into okay, the system, man. Okay, there we man. go. But, there we go. <laughs> but just know, man, everything, everything um, is. Uh, they're awesome, man. Listen, follow me on my Instagram. I know you're about to say it. Oh, then we gonna get it there. <laughs> but anyway, that, so no, so um, everything's predicated predicated off relationships, though. Mm. So, I'm just being honest. There's not really no. Yeah. I mean, they, it is. They want you gotta have stuff in place to put on in file on your behalf. You gotta have stuff in file. Trust okay. me. They need that. They need to show that. Yeah. But for the foremost man, um, it's a relationship. I got discovered. I was at my church. Shout out to the Word Church. I go to the Word Church Shout down in Word. Cleveland, Ohio. My pastor, Dr. Aria Vernon, man, who I really just like that guy, man. Mm -hmm. More and more, I see his movement. Mm -hmm. I just like his flow, um, but um, he, um, yeah, I was, I was in, uh, <clears throat> I was uh, serving in the youth, teaching, talking to the youth, and um, one of the guys there who was watching talk, talk to the youth, mm -hmm. they, he was like, man, wow, it's crazy how the youth got you. Mm -hmm. The youth, they so engaged, they so yeah. cultivated. Like, man, I need you to talk to talk to the people uh, at my school. 
Cause it's hard to keep kids and, and engaged. And I, I'm like, man, I'll, I'll just be just talking. Mm-hmm. And then um, from there, from the relationship, and he's yeah. seeing my gift. Mm-hmm. And he's seeing, it, at first of all, we was cool at first. Okay. We was already cool already. Mm-hmm. And then he seen me speak. And then because of us being cool, he felt comfortable. I was in this warm market instead of cold market. Mm. He said, Mike, let's go ahead and come in and you um, come and talk to my, um, you know, come talk to my, my boys at the school. <clears throat> He's one of the teachers and went from there. That's good. And now I got a, a youth mental health agency. Mm. So I'll be rolling. No, and that's good, bro, because yeah. uh, once again, I think that a lot of times we discover ourselves as uh, individuals or people who, creators or just just whatever we do and it, it, sometimes it takes a person to see you in your gift or you in your doing what it is that you do best who believes in you who believes in you exactly yeah. bro yeah. exactly and that's good so i, I did want to talk about you being an author bro because like mm. too often people i tell people all the time like you should write a book about that you know what i'm saying it's one thing to say it but it's nothing to actually do about it so mm. talk about the creative process that went into you creating your first book you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. i know even though it was it was about things you have been through it takes a lot to Put it to paper or put it, yeah. you know what I'm saying, put it into, into into a book. So let's talk about the process. I'm gonna tell you something, man. For the book writers, I mean for the for the writers or for the people who want to write a book, mm-hmm. but that's not your thing. That man, throughout school, education was not my thing. I didn't even know how to read until I was like in twelfth grade. Eleventh mm-hmm. and twelfth grade. I struggled with the whole reading thing. Yeah. I, I stumbled mm-hmm. over words. Um, when I was in prison, I had guys who really forced me to start reading books mm. when I was in prison. It's yeah. crazy. So, and then I cheated all my life in high school. I'm sorry. If you, what, hey, listen up. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I, I know. I, I love you being authentic. I, 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 I cheated. Like, hey. I, I used to pay teachers to do my do my work for me, man. Mm. And um, I'm talking about, I, I don't even know how I made it out of high school. It's like, I mean, for the people. Listen, you gotta go to high school. You gotta go. Listen, don't and listen. You gotta pass. No, I'm but uh, man, and I, you know, I'm just letting you know, like that's your struggle. My struggle was in comprehension. That's your mm. struggle and um, digesting words and di- learning and seeing. It's like, yeah. what are you talking about? Like, yeah. uh, just give me an A. Like, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> just give it to me, man. And uh, I struggle with all that. Mm-hmm. And um, and that helped that. That right there, my struggle in 12th grade. Can't sell your home and tired of carrying that load? Drop the house. Gutter Properties will buy your house as is with offers up to $300,000. Need serious repairs, liens, taxes, or judgments? We'll work through your unique situation to get that house off your back. During your free, no obligation appraisal, we maintain social distancing and take every precaution to ensure your experience is safe. Drop the house. Gutter Properties. Call us or visit gutterproperties.com today. Haunted me when I was out of prison. Wow. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when I was in high school, that spirit still was following me when I, when I was out of high school, while I was in prison, started learning about the book thing and reading a little bit. And when I got out of prison, doing the job thing, and then one of my assistants at the time, start, I started creating a movement. Mm-hmm. She said, I, start, I need to start writing a book. And then, um, and my ex, no, you know what, my, um, when I got out of prison, I was talking to this one, this one girl, and she said, I need to write a book, and then, um, you know, we just stopped talking, and then my assistant at the time, she told me I need to write a book, so confirmed Mm. about a day what she was saying, so, I'm like, man, wow, but I turned around and seen what, the spirit, Mm. I still seen that last spirit who, that caused me not to believe him, I still, that, that lack, and, um, Ah, book. I mean, yeah. I can read a little. I can read a little bit better now, yeah. but it's like I just, I don't. It's kind of the comprehension. I don't yeah. really know too much about that. And um, she just taught me. Um, she just taught me to uh, just journal it, and I just journaled it. And she helped me with the editing. And all she, all I did was, I just used. She was a teacher, so mm-hmm. you looking like get writing a book, just journal. Mm-hmm. And, and find wow. a, 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 t, a, a English teacher mm-hmm. with OCD. <laughs> um, that's real. Who has OCD uh, yeah. or has yeah. that, you know, mm-hmm. who who very detail oriented yeah. like type thing, mm-hmm. and um, have them help you edit your book. And boom, my book got me first. My first six figures, man. And um, yeah, man. So it's just that editing piece is just so important mm-hmm. because um, and it just went from there. So she didn't write the book. 
I just journaled it, mm -hmm. put it in, in the she German, format and she helped us format it. Yeah, that's what's up. Wow. Yeah, so we'll meet, all, we'll, meet all, right. we'll meet all the time. We'll, we'll meet, we, we met all the time, we're all the time. I come in with my laptop. Yeah. And she 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 helped me out a lot, man. So now we just be rolling now. Mm -hmm. So what the message going from your first book to your second book was it a lot was it a lot easier? Mm. Going this a lot easier. I knew what to look for. Okay. Um I already knew my tar target audience. This is self published. Yeah. I already had a nice little follow following already. Mm. Um and then I had a lot of educators on my team too as well, a lot of principals on my team because I've been doing this. Uh, mentorship thing, uh, mental health agency thing, a little over ten years now. Okay. So I have a lot, a lot of educators on my team yeah. in different states mm -hmm. and I'm following. Yeah, and it wouldn't be a, it, I, um, I knew it was gonna be hard, so I could yeah. flow. That's good. So, but, but this this second book is a uh, more of a, a it's a it's a book that speaks to anger, like I said before. Mm -hmm. But it's a work it's a workbook too. Attached uh, to it. It's a okay. workbook okay. attached to it, so you can you and your you and your son or you and your daughter who struggle with anger. Y'all can do it together, together to create a, create that bond again. Okay. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, that anger separates. Yeah. So, but when you start doing things and rewarding your kid, it brings forth the bond again. Because that reward helps you see, let the kid know that I see mm. that you're trying. Mm. And the, and that's all the kid want to see is do you do you see me? That's mm. good. Mm. No, and uh, I, once again, I think that's dope, man. And I I love the fact that. One book is you, you. You it was more so uh, a testament to what you have been through, but in the second book, you are like I said, you are doing your, your your demographic who you want to reach, mm -hmm. and that you know it's going to be a different format as far as how you're going to prepare. So that's mm -hmm. dope. No, no. And and I, I, one thing I want to say about just hearing about the journey, bro, is that one, there's no there's there's no limitation. You know what I'm saying? Like if it's an obstacle, you're going to find a way to get done, <laughs> right? And then two, like understanding that. This isn't just for me, it's for this, the person who's going to read this, the person who's going to receive it, the person who's going to hear this or whatnot. And just knowing that, I think that helps guide you. And I think for the person watching this, it's going to help them also understanding that piece too. Mm -hmm. So that's dope, man. Great, man. No, no, no. Listen, bro. Listen, listen. And once again, I think it just takes a special person to, 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 to talk to you. You just can't. Like, I got, I got three kids. <laughs> They're all teenagers. And I, as their father, have a hard time getting their attention mm -hmm. or keeping her attention. I can only I give you kudos where kudos are due because that that's an easy task. Yeah, man. it's not. It's and what would you say has probably been the most challenging that you've experienced while you know trying to reach to the youth and you know mentor them? Mm. Most challenging man is um, hmm, that's a good question. Um, you know, um, I don't I don't, don't want to say what. It's, I, 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 it is a challenge. One of the challenges, my biggest challenges, is I have to, I can't have favorites. Mm, mm. That's true. You can't do that. Yeah. And then I know that's people true. like Mike. This, this me. Like I know I love you, <laughs> everyone. <laughs> and then it's challenging for me too as well. Um, like I'm a hugger, and mm. then uh, I'll, I'm a kisser too. Like I kiss her before him. Um, my boy, so I'm like, man, bro, come here. No, bro, come here, dude. Come play with me, man. I know you a gangster, and you sell that drugs. Come here, though. Yeah, yeah. And um, I kiss him. You know, I love him. I love him, but I have to be careful with that. Yeah. Um, especially my little girls, my little daughters, man. Um, I got that's that right there. They really, I got kids who really look at me as their dad. Yeah. Like, Mm. And they love me, Mike. I love you. I love you too. I love you, little daughter. I love you too. Mm. Like, um, you just gotta be really, Mike. Take me home. Can you take me home, bro? I cannot take you home. Yeah. Like, you a daughter, you a lady. Yeah. What you mean? Yeah. How, how you can't take your daughter home? I know, but I just can't take you home in my mm. car. Yeah. It's just you and I in the car. We drive down the street. Yeah. Yeah. And, no. I, they, and no. we create a system like that. It's just the look. You mm -hmm. gotta. Yeah. I get it. Like you, don't you should not care about what people think. I know. Yeah. <laughs> but but well, this is why you got to be careful over here, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, that's and, good. Um, that's you know, it's, it's a battle. I mean, you know, it's a battle. If I'm cool with their family, cool with their. Right. If I'm cool, if I have a relationship with mom and all that, you know, with mom consent. But then I'm still. I just. You got to be careful, though. No. Yeah. Let me hit that right there. Yeah. yeah. I just, I just, I'm very. I'm. I, I'm always thinking. I'm thinking. Yeah. I'm always, don't, if I'm. If I'm, if I'm if I'm drifting off, I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. It's always thinking. Yeah. I'm always thinking. <laughs> no, but I mean that—that's that, real. But stuff. that's my biggest challenge, man, man. Cause I—I I really love, I love, um, how I how, 
but God created me to express his love to yeah, people. Yeah, that's good. And um, I love them. I can be transparent with them. Like some things went on um, with me, and I told them about it. They didn't judge me. I mean, it's like, boom. It's, they don't judge like mm -hmm. us yeah. people. Yeah. Like, my, my, yeah. what? I, yeah. I, I just told them, what you mind? You want? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And um, I don't know. I just... It's just I, I can't I can't even just I'm trying to grab and put a word and put a sentence and make it sound yeah I can't I don't mm. know how mm. I'm just so grateful that they're that um that that they can receive um the Clark Kent and the Superman at the same time mm. that's good hmm wow you just uh, I won't, I'm gonna use that because <laughs> you know that's that's that, that's that's real though because most people can take one part of you but you can't 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 take yeah. both but you both. gotta be transparent. Mm. Mm -hmm. And now sometimes it's hard. and then what I do, this is something I teach my mentors. I have people with different things I teach to be mentors. Yeah. So you gotta be transparent you gotta let them know the process of how um you're getting out that mistake. Oh what's wow. your struggle? And you gotta yeah. let them know the process. Yeah, look bro, I, I feel right here. This is what I'm gonna do to get better. Look, mm -hmm. I, you gotta let them know the process. I think mm -hmm. kids need to know don't just want to hear the wins, but they want to hear your losses and how you're getting out that loss. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That makes sense? Just, does. They want to hear that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They do. And then sometimes, even though they say they know, I give them room to make a mistake. And then I don't, I don't, I don't tell them I told you so. I love them. Yeah. Um, and to give them that look yeah. <laughs> and say, come here, give me a hug. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come here. It's okay. And I think a lot other time a lot of parents they they you know I told you see if I come here it's okay and mm -hmm. and that's the I, I, and out of two years ten ten plus years I never had a kid dog me and stupid you dumb I'm talking about, I'm, talk, I'm talking to the street cats they yeah. never turned on me yeah and I, I and they did some stuff but I always love on them and yeah. um, sometimes it's hard but I'm telling you something you gotta raise your tolerance level in order to be able to do that though. Because mm. if your tolerance level is not raised, then the very thing that's a challenge mm -hmm. that, or that brings forth that pressure uh, will be above your tolerance level, which will cause you to be triggered easily. Mm. Wow. Makes sense a little bit? Mm -hmm. like you get mad. What? Wait. And your, your, mm -hmm. the triggers will be mm -hmm. sensitive mm -hmm. because the very thing that, that frustrates you is beyond your tolerance level because you never took your time to grow your tolerance level by giving God thanksgiving and being grat and grat be bathing in gratitude in the morning. Wow. I'm grateful for this. I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for this. And bathing in that love, grateful in that gratitude. I'm thankful for not being locked up. I'm thankful for not being yeah. in the hospital. And I'm thankful for allowing me to help me see. You got to bathe in that gratitude when so that challenge comes. It's already under your tolerance level. You can bear it. Mm. That's it, man. <laughs> Mike, Mike, man, no one's jamming at the right. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what's up, bro. Yeah, for sure. So we talk about the past, talk about the present, talk about the future, my friend. Yeah. What does future hold for you, man? Yeah. Mm. Man, it's, you know, just you know, just one day praying. I get married and have a family one day, man. You know, that's the goal. See what God gonna do with that, man. Mm. And um, you know, I always wanted to have that goal. Ever since I was like 15, man, you know, yeah. um, got it on my phone, man, got like the gold. Just, I got it. Oh, got wow. It. wow. You got it on there. Yeah, oh, you ain't man. playing. Yeah, 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 man. So that's just, you know, that's just the goal. You know, yeah. that's all it is. You lifting, you lifting work, work, working. Yeah. You're doing, put, you're doing your, yeah. um, lifting, lifting the bench, doing the, um, hitting 225, and you, your goal is to hit 10 sets. But you may stop at what, five? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But at least you had the goal in mind. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so I got to remind myself, this is the goal. This is my goal. And um, it's okay, you know, if I hit or miss or whatever, that's mm. my goal. But um, hopefully be married, have a family, and then, um, you know, um, I want to transition on the business side. I want to, I'm looking for um, tapping more to real estate. Yeah. And then um, get some ninety sweeters. Get some ninety sweeters. You ain't playing, sweeters. bro. <laughs> right. Jump out there a little bit more. Than okay. That. He's a four. Well, he said ninety. Like, he's like <laughs> small stuff. So I want to. I want to. I got to partner with some people because I'm. I'm still in third grade there in that area. So when it comes to those sweeters like that, mm -hmm. um, but you know, I'm a risk taker. That's just my thing. Come on, and, bro. You know, um, 
but I know when you have a family, you can't really take that much risk. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that's why you need money while you're single yeah. to put aside and say, this is the money I'm going to risk take. So therefore, she, baby, we can still got a couple hundred thousand over right, here. Right, Don't right, lie right. about that. You still got your purse. <laughs> and let me come over here with this couple hundred thousand play. You cool. Yeah, that's <laughs> be good. cool. You know what I'm saying? So, and then, um, so that, do the, do the, do the real estate thing. Um, and then, um, really just grow into my piece, man. And then, um, you know, that's it. Just have fun, enjoy life, you know, continue to travel. Mm-hmm. No, that was so. And I want to thank you, brother, because you was part of our entrepreneur dating gang. So mm-hmm. when we have it back in October, <laughs> we might have you back on. No, oh, we're talking about the word. That's too much for me. I need, I need natural. Come natural. Where you at? Yeah. Man. All right. All right. No, 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 yeah. That was funny. No, that's what's up, though. Okay. And, and once again, we want to thank you because you were there when we got Credit Space. And yep. you kind of know these questions, but once again, for the person who missed out on the interview, we're going to ask these questions again tomorrow. So, um, one thing that Cleveland uh, is known for, or not known for, not it's not known for collaboration, right? And you being a man of God, you know the, the principalities. And unfortunately, I've, we've heard too many times people think it's the principality of non-collaboration or people not being able to come together in Cleveland. How do you feel like we can change that narrative or change that spirit per se in our city but you know what I, like i said before i think it's just um boiled boiled into the the um perception mm. how you view it okay everybody okay. view things you make one pe- one person may view it as um people don't collab another person may view it as people do collab mm-hmm. it's all basically depending on what circle you're in yeah. and how you view it That's you know good. so um Again, like I said over there, I just told him, I said being selfless. Mm-hmm. Um, but we live in a world that people think it's always the cash or something. Mm-hmm. What's the motive? Mm-hmm. Yep. Because we've been hurt before yeah. and we're trying to guard ourselves and all that. I, th- I don't think that's never going to change right there. Yeah. Um, but the more you tap into love and the more you have, you, you know, the more you tap into love, the more the, 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 the stronger your discernment heightens. Uh, the spirit of love allows your discernment to heighten. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um. Yeah. So that's it, man. And you follow your dis- your discernment. Your discernment helps you with your peace and know who you need to talk to and whatnot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then just go from there. Collab, man, and just talk to talk. You know. Yeah. You know? No, that's good stuff right there. Cause like I, I feel you. Cause like I too often I'm like, what you mean people collab? We collab all the time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. But uh, like I said, I think it's like said. You gotta get out your comfort zone, man. People don't, people don't get out your comfort zone like, and just talk. Yeah. yeah. Just talk. People are scared to talk nowadays because they feel like, man, I'm 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 insecure over here. Or I don't, I'm, you know, I don't fit over here, or maybe I stutter or whatever yeah. it can be. You know, what I'm saying? and just talk. Mm. The more you exercise, the stronger the muscle will get. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> I already. Uh, <laughs> so okay, Mike. And I asked you this before, and I love your answer. But who would you like to collaborate in the future? Yeah, man. So it's um, it's gonna happen very soon, man. I'm just trying to put some ducks in it. And bro, he's a good friend of mine, man. I, I know him, you know, and you know, it's not hard for me to collab, but I got his number. Beyond we, man. I'm kudos come to you, man. Come on now, shout to come on, come on, on, on Beyond. He's a really good guy, <laughs> man. He's paving the way with this real estate thing Absolutely, in the city. Absolutely, man. Um, He's synonymous with Cleveland, the real estate man. Yeah, for mm. sure. Beyond when, shout out to you, man. Um, give you a call shortly, man. Just trying to put some bus, um, ducks in a row. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, um, you know, Hakeem. Hakeem, man, you know, I ain't gonna lie. It's like Body and Clyde right there, man. You Beyond, man. It's yeah. Like I see you, yeah. Hakeem, man. Hakeem is like that assassin. <laughs> I mean, golly, I heard his name when I was in. It's like, and that one thing about it. Sometimes you ain't got to be on the forefront not to make no noise. You could be in the back seat and feel like and the person from seat so and, and the person be you. You could be in the back seat and the person would think you driving mm-hmm. <laughs> because you shining. Yeah. And that's what, what, one thing about Hakeem. Hakeem, I, I know you heard about me. I heard about him. You know, but mm-hmm. you know, and um, he's killing the game, man. Yeah. He's killing it, man. Uh, I, just, I just admire his flow in the real estate game. You know, everybody got their different lanes. Yeah. And everybody killing it in their own degree and whatnot. Mm-hmm. But this, these are the people I just want to um, go after, man, and um, tap into their soul. Yeah. And, uh, I spend. I don't mind giving you, giving you a couple thousand dollars to spend time with your mind. Mm-hmm. I'll do that. Mm-hmm. You know, I learned that that you know, and um, I'm just trying to make sure 
um, I have a system in place uh, when it comes to my agency so I can leave yeah. and go, you know. And, mm, and focus and, in this area. Yeah, That's right good. now, um, I'm, I have to um, strengthen the system so um, I can leave. That's good. So I'm looking for people for that right there, man. So it's, it's going to come. It's going to come. It's going to be okay. Okay. Listen, yeah. bro. Yeah. And then I, in the future, um, um, I had a meet with my team. Um, probably, it's gonna be, it's, it, all this is going to happen within like a, at least a good six months for a time. Come on now. I'm glad yeah, we got guys got, got here. Pull up his man. Six months time, man, before this year out. Before this year out. That's the play. Um, Grant Cardone. Grant Cardone, That's man. I'm going to reach out. My team going to reach out. I'm going to reach out. Let's do some stuff, man. I want to learn yeah, your well. knowledge. I don't want nothing from you. Yeah. But your but but your but the but the information that God placed inside of you, man. Mm -hmm. And we don't we don't just do see, tap into see what we can do. Yeah, we can go from there, man. Yeah. Listen, listen, listen. Mm -hmm. And I would say if y'all ain't hit the girl card then you need to go Google right now or not. And I think that'd be a powerful matchup right yeah, there, brother. That would. Mm -hmm. That's good stuff right there. Yes, sir. Okay. Well Mike, you uh <laughs> Sounds like you're gonna have a lot going on before you leave this earth, okay? Because you uh you definitely, you know, dibble and dabble in a lot of things again, building that legacy. So speaking of legacy, um, what would you like the legacy to be for just you as a person? And then clearly all of the things that you're gonna have lined up uh, throughout your lifetime business wise. Um, I would like to I, the legacy I like to leave is that Mike is always resilient. Mike, Mike is known to be resilient. Bounce back, boom. Mm -hmm. um, eight years, bounce back. He 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 did this, but bounce back. I can see I can see change within. I can mm. see he's always progressively get better. I can see, and then passenger to that. Um, I want you, I want people to see as I you know God one day take me home. That people see that man. Mike's always smiling, a lot, a lot of energy, and always mm. show love. That's good. That's it. Mike's always smiling. A lot of energy. Show love. You know, and um, and that's 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 it. That's what I want to leave. Okay. All mm, right. Good. Those are good ones. That's a great legacy to leave. You know? Yeah. 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 All right. Well, you have definitely given us a lot wow. about you and all of your endeavors, and mm -hmm. I mean, this has been a phenomenal episode, I must I'm say. Grateful. And I'm sure it's inspired and motivated a lot Absolutely. of our viewers who are watching and taking notes. Now, what would you say if we have to basically take this episode and, you know, shrink it on down? What would be three takeaways that someone viewing this should be able to gather from today's interview? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, number one, you have to listen. Um, listen to your peace. You have to listen to your peace. Like, I can't, I don't know, I don't have it. Yeah. God created you with this image. You have peace within because he's peace. Okay. Uh, you got to tap into that. So, number one, listen to peace. Number two, um, don't be scared to open doors. It's oftentimes, we're scared to open doors. Wow. Because it, um, we feel like, you know, um, this occurred in my past. Mm -hmm. um, that, door may, not, that, that door may be attached to your enemy, too. Remember, God said he makes your enemy your footstool. Mm. So don't be scared to open doors and talk to people and knock at that job and work that job to learn about that job so you can create a duplicate of that job. So don't forget to open doors. Um, That's good. And, um, you know, and last but not least, man, um, love yourself, man. Mm -hmm. your, the love for yourself helps you have something to lose. Wow. And one thing I learned is that um, I, I, I don't attach, very rarely do I attach myself or spend time with people who don't have nothing to lose. Wow. Because Shoot. now you put me in jeopardy. <laughs> um, so That's so good. Be careful with that. <laughs> That's it. Mm. Okay. All right, hit that one time. Good. That one, yeah. That's okay. real good. That's real good. All right, and I feel like this is the most important question, Mike, man. Mm -hmm. Where can people learn more about you, brother? Where can they book you? Follow mm -hmm. me, man. <laughs> Listen, it's going down. <laughs> if, no, 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 no. Let's get your phone. You're not, you're playing. Yeah. Get your phone out. Stop, stop. Mm -hmm. Get the phone out. <laughs> you got your Instagram? Go ahead and go on your Instagram app. You've been on the Instagram all day. Mm -hmm. Not just playing you. <laughs> Instagram, M E M A. T H I S 
the number two. Me, math is the number two. And this is what I would do for y'all. This is what I'm going to do. The first five people who hit me up and say, you know, Mike, I heard you on this. Mm. I give you $20. Hey. First five people said, Mike, I heard you fully. <laughs> Look, I love what you're doing. I'm giving you $20. And y'all going to be cheating, too. Don't be <laughs> <don't laughs> <cheating. laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, uh, <laughs> $20. I'm gonna no. see. 194 episodes. I don't think no one's ever challenged. No, no, no. no, no. Ever. Yeah, no, that's just so, so, I love it, man. So, M E M A T H I S number two. Um, and then my Facebook is Mike Mathis. Um, you know, just, you can Google me, check me out, whatever. Give me be Mike Mathis. And yeah, I love it. So, this for you, all the lazy people, is right there in the show notes. So, it's no excuse. If you come out the video right there, boom, Mike Mathis, you can follow him. Book them, all that good stuff, okay? Mm -hmm. So, Liz, we appreciate you, brother. Yes, this has been an awesome you. interview. I knew when we when we was at Creative Space, it was going to be a good <laughs> right, one. I knew it, too. You know what I'm saying? We got a little sample. We got a sample, right. Yeah, but now yeah, we, we, we got a full course. course. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, this, I knew it was going to be good. Yep. And, uh, guys, we got to pay some bills. <laughs> so, Mike, what are you doing April 18th? I don't know. I got to um, ask my sister and look at my Okay, phone. okay. So, we're going we gonna to ask you afterwards. But... Mm -hmm. Every team, guys, if you know who David Shans is, he's the creator of Social Proof Podcast. And if you like our podcast, then you'll love his. Mm -hmm. And we have done the hard work. We're bringing him to Cleveland. Uh, he will be here April 18th, and he is putting together an event where he's going to show you how to start your own podcast. He's going to show you how to monetize your own podcast. And he's just going to show you overall just the, in 2024, podcast is the new wave. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, it was websites, social media. Now, podcasts are now going to be such a part of your business, your brand, your overarching just what you're going to need it going forward mm -hmm. if you want to create content. So, Dave Shannon is going to come here. He's going to show us how, how he does it, and we're all going to learn. We're going to bring, be in a room with entrepreneurs, creatives, um, innovators. All are going to be in the city. It's going to be a great time, okay? So, listen, guys, last and over. I'm sorry. The best part about all this is it's free. The event is free. All you got to do is show up. So what I need you to do is go to podcast, uh, go to. No, you need to text yes. podcast summit to three three seven seven seven. That's what you need to do. That's what you need to do. Yes, <laughs> to get your ticket because the last time I said we only got four tickets left. So listen, get them because they're going fast. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, next. Make sure you guys tune in weekly to my podcast, Beauty yes. Told. Again, myself, and from time to time, I'll have great guests. And we are going to talk about relational topics, financial and lifestyle. And again, we're going to take those topics, really expound on them, give you that unbiased opinion. And we are just teaching you because we've been through it and we want you to learn That's from good. it. And again, the goal is just to bring on a more positive change for all of us. So I look forward to seeing you there. I'll see you. And then guys, I want to thank you. Yes, you, the person mm -hmm. watching, the person listening to this great podcast. Because once again, last time check, we're at 15... Thousand point four mm -hmm. subscribers, seven point four million views, and it's only growing. And because you guys want to hear great stories like Mike's, yeah, right. and you guys once again are just showing us the the value that comes with not only our city as a whole, but the people who are doing great things in our city. So we want to thank you, yes, you, the person watching, the one sharing, liking, subscribing. We can't thank you guys enough. You guys showing us worth it. So we can't thank you guys enough. We'll see you guys next time. This is episode one ninety four, guys. Episode 200 is around the corner, and uh, it's really a blessing. Really, it is. And like Mike said, I feel like this is our purpose. Our purpose is to shine the light on great people doing great things in our great city, okay? Mm -hmm. So, guys, we will see you guys next time. Peace. Mm -hmm.